Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh guys Welcome back to another hunting adventure So, 2024 uh, It's amazing how time's flying It's already February and it's still hot And it's uh, still hunting time I think this is one of the best periods to hunt uh, Mainly in terms of the deer quality That's the best this time this year and many people don't like to go obvious for obvious reasons it's hot you know it's uh, you need to take care of your meat um, but you know guys get out there you are gonna get the best meat of the, the whole year that you can ever get so the purpose of this trip was to help out a brother he has never hunted on public land so his, his whole experience uh, has been hunting on private land um, so, and he wanted to learn um, the basics of hunting on uh, public land. So, so we made a plan. He reached out. We made a plan, and uh, we headed out to a state forest in uh, the central west region in uh, New South Wales. And uh, yeah, it was a three-day trip. And boy, oh boy, uh, what a trip! I, we started off you know with regular sightings of regular deer and then the deer somehow started to get bigger and bigger um, anyways you're gonna watch that I don't want to spoil uh, all the fun but in the end uh, uh, the purpose of the trip was uh, achieved uh, you learn so much more about a deer, about hunting, when you actually observe the deer. As soon as we see a deer, we take a shot at it. But, you know, if you take a step back and observe the deer for at least five, six minutes, uh, you know, that will teach us so much about deer behavior. And, and, and that is one of the most uh, important aspect of uh, hunting is to understand the deer behavior understand the terrain that they live in um, you know it's not always we're not going to be always lucky we go all ramble and uh, uh, assume that we're going to find deer it's important to learn their their where they live and why they live there and what they eat and how they behave how they react and everything but anyway so that was uh, the whole purpose um, and uh, alhamdulillah the brother learned a lot i learned a lot about uh, and, and as I do with every trip, I learn so much more, and you know, and, and that's what keeps me, you know, wanting to go back over and over again. Anyways, guys, uh, enough talking. Without further ado, we'll jump straight into the hunt. Looking flat, there we go. She just love it. You gotta embrace it. Hold it, hold it and see how fresh it is. Yes. Just feel it. Very fresh, still moist. How, how do you say it's still fresh? It's still moist. It's still moist, sticky and still green. Yep. So probably half an hour ago. Well. <sighs> Be ready. Game is on. Game is on. See it any moment.
where he jumped? I think you got it. Come, come, come. So we just called off the, the search and brother Faisal is gonna run down the whole the whole process that we went through and found that fallow deer. So what how, how do you think we start how do how do you think it went? Good day guys, assalamu alaikum. Um, we just got to the forest today, uh, basically set the camp up. We had some time, so Brother Harwan mentioned we can try to go out for a scout last light and we can check if we find something. We had scouted um, an area online. Brother Harun spent some time with me to show why it is a productive area. Um, you know, talking about pines and natives and a creek running, it being a hot day, we're sticking close to water sources and we started scouting an area. The plan was to follow a creek and uh, we stumbled across a game trail mm -hmm. and uh, Brother Harun then started following the game trail and I'm like, our plan was to go down to the creek but I was like, well, he's the expert so we started following the game trail uh, saw droppings and footprints throughout the game trail kept walking, walking and I'm just following Brother Harun and he goes, stop and I go, why are we stopping? and he goes, there's a deer there and uh, there it is. I think we looked at the deer, we observed the deer for about five minutes. A good, a good five minutes if without even making a move. She was unaware of our presence. She yeah. did not. She thought that, you know, something is around, but she yeah. wasn't able to figure out. She didn't yeah. spot us. She wasn't spooked. Yeah, and then went she went back, back to, to, went back to grazing. Yeah. That's when we slowly got into position. It took another few minutes to kind of make sure that we've got the broadside and everything. It was about 100 meters, I guess. About 100, yeah, yeah. between 100 and 120 meters, sort of a thing. And uh, Brother Harun gave me the green light whenever you're comfortable. And uh, scoped it, did take a shot. And uh, even after the shot wasn't spooked, I'm not sure if we did the way get she it. jumped, I and, thought, I, and I'll show that, and you guys must have seen it in the slow-mo, the way she jumped, I felt it was a good shot. But then she, when she was walking, she wasn't limping, was so I wasn't limping, too sure. So I wasn't sure if we got so, it or not. So we, we then we, came here, looked for a blood trail. Couldn't uh, really find anything. Scouted the area, couldn't find nothing. Yeah, we so, searched for about an hour or so, but then we had to call it off because it's uh, it was getting light. dark. And uh, it was light. we had to head back to here. We were in a thick blackberry. But right. anyways, uh, we did our part of looking for it. We couldn't find a blood trail anywhere. So I don't think it hit, but see, yeah. hitting is just, uh, no. at least I'm happy that it did not get uh, yeah. uh, injured. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, it was a clean miss, which is a good thing. Shooting, as I always mention every time, shooting is the easy part. It's the concept of finding a deer. That's what we need to learn. And that's what we need to focus on. We're gonna get, you're gonna get more chances to shoot. The more you shoot, the more you miss, the more you're gonna learn why you missed. So it's important. I think a hunter can never be a good hunter unless they miss, 100%. or else they're gonna be called a sniper. And hunting is not for them. They True. need to be in the military or something. True. True. <laughs> so True. Hunt, missing is just part of hunting. You're learning, you're adapting, and next time, inshallah, you will you'll make sure that you don't make the same mistake. But inshallah. alhamdulillah, I'm happy that you did not rush it. You did not, you were, you were calm. It took your time until it turned broadside. Anyways, uh, it's fine. It's just our first day. Let's see what tomorrow brings for us. Looking forward to tomorrow. But yeah, power of online scouting. All right, power said. of online scouting. Yes, keep mentioning that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, we're at the border of the road. Now you're just going to go back to the, head back to the car. We're still going to look for deer on our way back. You never know. This is a prime time. But... Uh, gonna call it a day All right then i'll see you guys when see i see you, you. see ya starting out with uh, some glassing in the some glassing and uh, plan is to spend about about half an hour 45 minutes to glass a section wind is good and then head down 
um, the water sources. Let's see. Um, confidence is a bit low, but aspiration is still high. Again, a new block. Online scouting. Good potential. Now putting the boots on the field. I'm gonna see if we see a sign. We see a sign. All right, it's light now. I'm gonna get off. Get get going now. Keep you guys posted. might be coming through here so that's a good indication
Let's head into the pines now. So that opening into the pine led us to a nice creek, a dry, a dry bed, but there was, there was lots of blackberry in that. Vessel spotted a fellow about 20 meters away from him, but it was almost impossible to spot it because that fellow was completely tucked in the, the blackberry. It's just literally just bolted as soon as he spotted it. Fresh and then get back at it in the afternoon, late afternoon. <sighs> Should say I'm a little disappointed, but uh, it's okay. You keep creating chances and not lose motivation. That's the key is keep pushing, keep creating chances, and then inshallah, you'll be blessed with. later then it was a bit chilly last night Ooh. temperatures just suddenly dropped by 10 degrees it was very cold it was not cold but it's just bodies are not adapted to it yet but anyways back to hunting um last day now first morning session and uh I had to get my lucky shirt out to get a deer now. <laughs> uh, let's see, it was a bit chilly, so we were planning to glass the open areas uh, a bit longer than usual because it was a very snappy cold. The deer might want to be, you know, out trying to catch the sun. I'm here with Taj and his daughter. Uh, the other friend, Faisal, he decided to just take it a bit easy this morning and uh, you know do the afternoon session All right then back to it I'll see you guys later So we weren't able to take uh, a video of the shot uh, because I was spotting the deer um, but uh, and I wanted to have a close look at you know the shot uh, while, while Taj was making the shot and um, sadly it was a it was a clean miss uh, but we did um, go to the spot and check if there are any traces of blood couldn't find anything so we uh, moved on um, from that area into another block um, um, searched the area um, for a bit and while we were going back to the truck there was a pleasant surprise waiting for us Shot, bro. You could have done the same with the deer, by the way. <laughs> Good shot, bro. Huh? 
How do you feel, Dutch? Mm. It's too easy, guys. <laughs> 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 uh, still, at least we found a, yeah. something, right? Why does it look so bright? G'day, mate. <laughs> Welcome to uh, <laughs> Khan's Adventure. <laughs> so, started had a good start in the morning. Uh, spotted a few deer and uh, uh, took a shot at one but uh, good thing was it was a clean miss uh, it didn't wound the animals we did look for blood for about an hour or so but didn't really find anything so that's fine um, but then we came to another block did about a, did a few kilometers of hike didn't see any deer we were heading back to the truck and we found this bad boy on feeding in the pine and then mr rambo <laughs> did what you guys just saw to him oh uh -huh. yeah, she's uh -huh. she's big bro she's big yeah man um she took two bullets still kept trying to run i think yeah. you got one in the neck over there look that look at that yeah. hole there i was trying to give a nice uh Tin kill, yeah. uh, right to the head. For then he got one on the shoulder, and that pretty much dropped it on his tracks. Anyways, uh, no deer, one pig, it's at least uh, something down. But there's one more session still for us. Not gonna give up, mm -hmm. and inshallah we get on to something. Last day, last session. Six o'clock. Two and a half hours of light remaining, and uh, we've just got into a, another block that we didn't we really plan on not experimenting. So we have we are coming to a block where we have guaranteed seen deer uh, in order to you know maximize our chances of this last session. Still no deer, but Alhamdulillah, this uh, day, the purpose that we came with to this trip was is uh, achieved. The purpose was to, you know, show them the ropes and uh, let them do it on their own, so that they can go and start their journey on hunting on public land so that from that perspective it is job done successful deer down or not that's hunting you can never guarantee success on every trip if it was success on every trip you'll get bored you will have no reason to come back this is what brings us back. This is why we love this. Anyways, enough lecture. Back to hunting. The most unexpected thing happened. The forest that we are in, there were there are no reports of spotting a sambo. And guess what? We spot a bad sambo. Ten, just ten minutes into the session, we find a sambo. And I can't believe it that there was a there is sambo. I'm still in shock. But anyways, and we looked for a lot of we looked at the game uh, we looked at the shop place where we shot. There was no trail of blood. And uh, we followed there was a game trail and we followed that we, we spotted a lot of droppings. So and 
reaction and we, and we found more and more droppings fresh just right now so I was but there was no no blood trail that whole that whole way we looked for about 45 minutes and then we had to call it off anyways Samba in this area Anyways, uh, there's still more time. I'm gonna get back to hunting now. Let's see if we bump into something more, inshallah. Not gonna give up until the last, last moment. Alright, let's go. So, we are f finally not going back with, empty, with an empty eski. Alhamdulillah, was there and Taj, uh, they had gone for the evening session. And uh, these guys, mashallah, they bagged a nice fellow. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It's a nice spiker. And he's uh, going to do the dressing and stuff. And then, alhamdulillah. Well, alhamdulillah, um, Allah has blessed us with this beautiful animal. We are thankful to him. And uh, we're now going to wrap up uh, and uh, head back, inshallah. So, we're, we're all packed up. Uh, Wazir is going to continue dressing his uh, his deer. I got to catch a flight in the morning, and so we're going to head back. So I just wanted to wrap up uh, this uh, this video. So, what do you think, uh, brother? A uh, big trip for me, especially for someone who's a uh, beginner, still learning my uh, ways around the state forest hunting. Mm -hmm. um, the basic idea was to go out under. Brother Harun's mentorship to kind of learn uh, what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right uh, in state forests. So we had a two night, three day session basically. And uh, well, I've learned uh, my ways around state forest uh, do's and don'ts. Um, saw, uh, spotted more than more than four G's, uh, took a shot at two, um, both clean misses unfortunately. So. Uh, Can't believe a, that Samba. A lot, a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, learning, uh, a lot of learning um, that I have to take from that. Um, another couple of deer spotted, but obviously one was um, on the other side of the fence. The other one was um, obviously um, didn't give us a chance. Was moving too massive quick. Massive fallow buck. Massive fallow buck as and well. And then Samba deer. <clears throat> What this trip did, had everything, right? It had everything. Oh, uh, man, but right decision, not, not taking a few shots. Yep. Um, and hard luck, uh, basically taking a couple of shots and uh, and missing the deer. But um, uh, the science does work. Uh, that's what I've learned. Um, followed Brother Harun's instructions about what to look for, what not to look for, where to go. Yeah. Um, you know, a forest is a massive area. So how do you kind of minimize the area you want to look for? How to scout? Um, you know, how do you do it online? How do you do it on the ground? So basically a lot of learning to take, um, a lot of, um, you know, ideas to work on. And uh, yeah, um, Alhamdulillah, the brothers have got um, a deer for the camp, which is great. Alhamdulillah. But yeah, all in all, great experience. And uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm very glad that Brother Harun is, is, is kind of sharing his experience and kind of working with us beginners and learners. So yeah, thank no you brothers. <laughs> uh, you, were, you were great. Uh, you were absolutely great. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you. And, Thank you for your valuable time and uh, your patient. lessons. very patient. It's not easy for a new hunter to uh, public land takes a lot out of you, and then you you're very patient. Uh, and uh, Alhamdulillah means uh, my only intention is to share the knowledge as much as I can, so that there are more hunters out in the out in the state forest because we need more hunters uh, okay. desperately. We need more hunters, ethical hunters. Um, anyways, uh, like I said before, the trip had all sorts of ups and downs, uh, but in the end, uh, we do have a deer in the camp, uh, a lot of surprises, especially the Samba. I had no bloody idea that there's Samba here. I'm definitely coming back here again, definitely visiting this forest again. Um, and, uh, yeah, Alhamdulillah. All right, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you until next time.